In Southeast Asia, the South China Sea off the coast of Vietnam is rich with fish, oil fields, and natural gas. However, it is also one of the most exposed to typhoons, also known as tropical cyclones. The coastal erosion caused by monsoons and tropical cyclones could very well mean that Vietnam is the country hit hardest by climate change in East Asia. In Nha Giang, on the south central coast of Vietnam, scientists at the Institute for Research and Development and their partners have decided to set up their research instruments. On voulait faire une approche multi-site et multi-outils pour caractériser en fait la réponse du littoral à une variabilité climatique du forçage à différentes échelles de temps. Pour étudier les, cette réponse et le forçage à ces différentes échelles de temps, on a différentes, différents outils, notamment les, les campagnes de mesure à court terme comme ici à Natrang. To characterize how the coast has reacted to climatic events, ADV, or acoustic Doppler velocimetry, and the Vectrino will be used to produce three-dimensional measurements of the water's movement. Another innovative method of remote sensing is the swash video. This method aims to measure the area's hydronamics as well as the beach's morphological changes using a video camera and aligned metal poles. The LIDAR is another essential active remote sensing device that uses its laser to continually track the waves along the shoreline. A little further offshore, two acoustic Doppler current profilers have been placed on each side of the bay. The immersed instrument transmits a sort of ping where they will bounce off microparticles suspended in the water and send sound waves back to the instrument. These are going to help record the velocity of the currents. A considerable number of drifting buoys will also be placed in the water. These buoys will be left a little closer to the shore and will help measure the river's impact on the area's climatology. On a essayé d'innover en termes méthodologiques, pas seulement scientifiques, avec l'utilisation de, de nouvelles méthodologies comme les, les drones qu'on a fait voler durant cette, cette campagne. Euh, drones donc, sont équipés de, de caméras euh, vidéo qui nous permettent de reconstruire la plage euh, en, en trois dimensions, mais également de suivre le, les courants de surface et la propagation des vagues. À low tide, each flight will create a grid along the entire beach. Hundreds of high definition photographs will be taken, then processed and assembled. This difficult, time intensive study plays an essential role in understanding the hydromorphological dynamics and sediment transport along the coast. Another innovative, more efficient instrument has been installed since 2013 for long-term analysis. Alors la vidéo c'est un outil qui est assez innovant parce qu'il permet de mesurer un grand nombre de, de variables littorales, à la fois le forçage, donc les vagues, les courants, la marée, Euh, mais également la, la réponse, euh, donc l'évolution morphologique. Donc on a, on a l'ensemble du système qui est euh, mesuré. C'est la première fois qu'on a autant d'informations. Avec une erreur qui est plus importante que les instruments de situ, mais avec une couverture euh, temporelle beaucoup plus importante. We are now in the north area of Nha Trang Bay. So on the right hand side is the Ba Lang Road. So this road was constructed uh, in 2002. So before 2002, this, this beach was very beautiful. 
with a very uh, yellow sandy beach, a very white beach. But after construction, the road disappeared. So the Coast Va, uh, the project is very important to how to recreate. Uh, because we want to, under, to understand the uh, mechanism of the beach erosion here. And then we give a countermeasure for practical solution, how to recreate the beach here in the north area of the Yang Chang Bay. Nachang is a very special place because uh, it's very exposed to the, to the open ocean and it's exposed to uh, typhoon impact here on the beach and on erosion in general. And uh, so it's a very special place for scientific studies. And we have a very good cooperation with uh, many, many universities from Vietnam. And we expect this to, 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 to go on because the goal here is to study the human impacts on, on the beach erosion, which has a very strong economical impact on the society. And we also want to study uh, the long-term evolution of these beaches because of uh, uh, climate change. This is another subject of very strong cooperation with, with all our uh, uh, Vietnamese colleagues. We expect uh, to, to learn a lot from them because they have the knowledge of the dynamics of this area. And it's a very special area that, that we think we can learn a lot for uh, coastal processes in general, not only in Nha Trang, but all along, along the coast in, in Vietnam, but also in uh, coastal areas in France or all the places in the world. It's a very special place to study here and it's very important for us. However, observing, recording, measuring, and understanding waves movement isn't enough. Scientists also want to study changes in the sediment. Pressure sensors continually record the tiniest changes in the sand. Each day, a complete reading of the sand samples in the area is taken. To determine how the tides affect the shifting sediment, the researchers are going to paint a sample of sand a fluorescent color. They will then attempt to locate these grains of sand. All of the data gathered with these instruments will then be tested against mathematical models, which is necessary to fix and improve these models. When we think about climate change, we tend to imagine an overall rise in sea levels. However, we often forget other important factors such as the changes in the frequency of extreme weather events and fluctuations in the flow and intensity of the swell and waves. These imbalances will certainly affect the coast. Confronted with these hostilities, how will it be able to recover? In order to preserve economic resources, tourism, fishing, and aquaculture, we could anticipate disruptions and minimize the impact of the damage caused by soil erosion linked to extreme climatic events. We could also fight against deforestation and sand removal. But all this won't be enough. We also need to think about how to promote development along the coast while preserving its natural resilience. Not only for Nyata, uh, many study area uh, along the Vietnamese coast. We have uh, more than 3,200 kilometers coast along. So very big demand for the deployment of uh, coastal engineer. So uh, we really uh, want to collaborate with uh, IRD and friend uh, partner uh, to assist us to how to uh, develop uh, in, uh, in the field of coastal engineering for Vietnam. So by uh, doing such way, a very uh, mutual benefit, not only for Vietnam, but also for France. And within the framework of the cooperation project between most and foreign countries, we have both fundings from France and from Vietnam to implement this second phase with a more uh, 
important applications. And in the future, we do hope to continue working with uh, Vietnam partners, with uh, phones coming from both Vietnam and France, uh, to, in order to help develop the countries by favoring the development of research. The challenge is to understand how coastal variability works and to measure the impact of major climatic events. This study will require close collaboration with the Vietnamese scientific community. Today, it is estimated that more than 60% of the world's population lives near a coastal area. The coasts are hit hardest by the effects of climate change. They are caught between oceanic and continental environments and face with constant urbanization. They are therefore directly affected by event-driven, seasonal, and yearly changes in the intensity of monsoons. The knowledge gathered within the framework of this research project in Vietnam, as well as in West Africa, should help provide answers to these challenges.